Betty. Or Betty, I should say. Hello, the partners. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, Tony and the Lone Prairie, here in the Lone Star State of Texas. We're going to talk politics today. National politics. Politics that involves the state of Texas. Recently, the governor of Texas, Governor Rick Perry, Republican, announced his candidacy for the uh, Republican nomination to run for president in 2012. And right away, the Eastern establishment, the talking heads, them their liberals, the Democratic Party, and their uh, goose-stepping lackeys in the news media have been condemning Governor Rick Perry pointing out everything that they perceive is wrong with him, which is everything that we perceive is right. Why he's a Christian, see? Why he's a conservative, see? Why he's not politically correct, see? <laughs> you know what I like about them there, the news media? When a Republican announces their candidacy, right away they zero in on the person's religion. <laughs> But when one of them the Democrats announced their candidacy, the news media is totally void of the religion. The news media has been not has been condemning Rick Perry on many levels. Even here in Texas, the Dallas Morning News, article after article critical about the governor of Texas, the Republican governor, who announced his candidacy for the president of DZ United States of America. Let me tell you why I support the governor of Texas. Oh, there's a whole list of reasons. The main reason is I support him is he's not a Democrat. See? Because I care about the security of these here United States of America. And in the 21st century, if you care about the security of this nation and the protection of our allies, I question you. How in the world of good consciousness could you ever vote for a Democrat from door catcher to president? I don't understand it. But let's get back to the slanted, biased news media in this country. The Constitution guarantees us freedom of the press. When are we going to get it? Because the majority of the press is currently controlled by them, their Democrats. See, in the Dallas Morning News, a whole page of articles and editorials again, the governor of Texas for running for president. But in this column here, see, this column here, written by somebody in the New York Times, God bless that old man, the New York Times, with its decreasing subscriptions, its decreasing, <laughs> its decreasing readings. And what he writes here basically is, he said, why, Governor Perry, he's not moderate enough for the Republicans. Then he discusses Governor uh, Chris Christie of New Jersey. Why, he's too moderate for the Republicans. You cannot have it both ways. Rick Perry's no good because he's not moderate. And the, uh, Chris Christie's no good because he's too moderate. Listen to me, folks. The governor of Texas, Governor Rick Perry, as I started to say earlier, why he has my vote, he's out jogging one day. And he comes across one of them there coyotes. So he takes out his pistol and he shoots the critter dead. That's what he did, kids. He got rid of the vermin. Now, <laughs> now, a lot of people will say, huh? Couldn't you shake a stick at it or throw a rock at it? Did you have to shoot him? Yeah, because that was a vermin. But that's not the part that, <laughs> that enthrills me about this story. The part is, who goes jogging with a revolver? You know who does? A Texan. You know who also does that? The governor of Texas, Governor Rick Perry. <laughs> And you know, that just infuriated those idiots in the news media. You want to know who to vote for? The person that the news media is criticizing and condemning continuously. That's the person they fear. That's the person them their Democrats fear. And that's the person we should vote for. Because we do not want anyone that the news media is pleased with or them their Democrats. And we also want the governor of Texas in 2012 to be president of these United States of America. That's him, kids. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. Partners. <laughs>